hello 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 my love bugs once again it's your girl let me love dang with another message from the divine as i always say i'm hearing calling all the stops pulling all the stops what does that mean calling out all the stops i don't know um thank you guys y'all i can't miss a day with y'all i tried to miss the day to do my nails and today everybody just readings back to back to back goodness okay um let's get into it thank you guys for your likes subscribes uh shares and views i am just a messenger passing on the message okay don't be mad with me let's get into it i can't even get into my introduction good somebody is pulling all the stops pulling out all the stops maybe they feel like this a it's a it's a difficult choice to try to invade someone's space these people are confused and at a stalemate um because maybe you're using your intuition in order to be good at business and gain material wealth even though they tried to stop you so somebody tried to stop you from gaining material success and now they feel like they're at a stalemate they don't know what to do so they have someone spying on you but they misjudged you and they're panicking because you're in a higher vibration i'm hearing you can't be stopped and you're going to tear down an entire organization Damn. Huh? These people tried to betray you. They wanted you to fail. And they thought they were going to be able to do so. I'm hearing something about a veteran. They thought they were going to be able to do so and be able to put their plans into practice. You got somebody scoping out your house to see when it's a good time to come and take over. What? what they want to get a victory by coming to your house you got some people that is watching your home but i'm y'all i'm hearing veterans these are some old people maybe you got an like may, what the freak you got a lot of people you may have stayed in like a neighborhood of yours for a long time and now all of a sudden you know everything's changed you got a lot of people walking dogs you got a lot of people uh uh just like old older people walking these are all vets these are all veterans the older ones could be veterans. A couple of the younger ones are veterans. You got a lot of newbies, people that are in training. These people are circled around you. These people are in the fucking Navy, bro. Yes, these people are around your home. They have been strategically placed around your home to use energetic weapons. So if people keep walking past you and pulling out their damn cell phone, they're doing stuff, trying to alter with your Wi-Fi, trying to pick up on whatever it is. I'm hearing you picked up on it. That's why every time you see them, you cut your Wi-Fi off. The Holy Spirit got you so connected. That's why they pissed off. The Holy Spirit got you so connected. The Holy Spirit will give you messages about each time they try to hack into your shit so that you cut off your Wi-Fi, so that you cut off whatever attachment. Yes, I'm hearing it again. Sweet, sweet Caroline. Oh, these people hate you, bro. These people hate you because they can't stop you. These people work against you every day. These people, y'all know how the Navy's supposed to keep up certain ships that's on the port and stuff like that too. They hire these newbies to stay in your neighborhood and do energetic weapon tests on you. A lot of them drive muscle cars. That's why they do that when they go past your home because they're energetically trying to manipulate you, trying to instill fear in you. They're using tactics that they use overseas on you to bring you out. I'm hearing, here we go again. They, they they are watching you. They got drones on you. They send plenty of drones, planes, and all kind of shit to watch you. Why are these people to surveil you? And they see that you, it's not working. Your emotions are calm. You're still a dreamer. You're still creative. Oh, shit, you're a dreamer because that's how you get your spiritual downloads. And they want you to reject your spiritual downloads. So they're trying to do some brain manipulation on you. But you're an earth angel. They can't fuck with you. There's no... There's no, yeah, they misjudged you. They didn't know that you were connected to a divine source. These people have been over manipulating and, 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 and giving material success to others off of stalking you. Bitch, you, 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 you have literally been, this whole gang stalking organization, you have literally been feeding people. Motherfuckers need to tell you thank you. You have literally been feeding people by minding your own business. These people are getting money and getting fed and getting their rent paid by stalking you, staying close to you. It's people who are afraid to come into your energy because they get sick. You literally are embodying the holy fucking grail energy. Because anybody who watched or guarded the holy grail knew that they were going to get cancer. They were going to have significant uh, health issues because of the energy coming outside of that holy grail. And you are the holy grail. You are of the holy spirit. And these people are afraid to stay close to you or move too close to you because they get sick think bad things happen for them all right a lot of them are financially juggling now because they have been fired 
for being in your energy, maybe getting sick for being in your energy, or the fact that you picked up on what the hell that they were doing, they were switched out. Um, you're having liberation and rebirth right now, and it's very painful for these people because they were hoping to receive good money about you and, and you know taking you over, and it's not helping. Nothing's working. You're moving forward at an even faster rate. All right. Um, these people hate that you're so auspicious. And they keep meeting challenges with trying to control you because you're speaking on what they're doing. Or they have to try to keep coming up with new ideas to control you. These people are surveilling you. You got to be the Holy Grail, bro. These people want to sacrifice you. You are the fucking Holy Grail. You are the Oracle. It's something within your body that these people need in order to get into these planes and fucking time travel. Y'all know, y'all know your girl get on this shit and here it go. To get in here and time travel, they need to stop you, but you're standing your ground. You're defeating them. I'm telling you, you making motherfuckers drop D-E-A-D, -E no cap. Your energy is nothing to be played with. And they upset because whoever did, did their misjudgment on you, you are bringing the mothership back to earth. You are bringing the mothership home. Wishes are now going to start coming true for certain people with material success and abundance because these people were over manipulating certain things i'm here they didn't have enough bodies to sacrifice you hard to get to it's a certain amount of earth angels that they need to sacrifice in order to keep their position on this realm one two three four seven and six seven <laughs> y'all and then a fly tried to fly in my freaking face seven and six thirteen you literally You literally might, they might, they need you as a sacrifice and they can't get you. It's like if they have to give up seven souls for the seven freaking archangels, give each archangel. Oh my gosh. Okay. They are trying to, it's, it's some antichrist shit. So they want to give the watchers, they want to give the seven, they want to give seven fallen angels the energy of the earth angels, which are archangels. And they can't get you. They can't fucking get you. That's why they're watching you because you're the last key that they need to start the damn apocalypse. You're one of the things that they need. Somebody is drinking blood and they have to have all seven DNA strands in order to embody the energy to be the seven-headed dragon and be the antichrist and take over this realm again for another trip of jubilee another trip around the sun is what i'm hearing what the fuck y'all they're being <laughs> yeah they can't have success they've invested too much into this and this 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 energy of people trying to be the leaders on this earth this author, author authoritarian who's this this authoritarian missed this opportunity Maybe it could be this branch. And I'm hearing Caroline again. So maybe it could be the Navy. That's working with this watcher. Working with this fallen angel that still wants control over this realm. So whoever is the, the god of this realm, they still want control. I don't know. Yeah, they keep saying. Okay, and then we got the sword. So maybe it could be um, Azazel. But Azazel is, this, this is who Azazel is working with. So you had Zeus and Prometheus, and you had Semaja and Azazel, or Satan and Azazel. And they're working together to gain control of this realm, and they need those sacrifices in order to do so. But it's hard to attack you, so they constantly surveil you and try to take your life from you because you won't go willingly, you won't go easily. They know that you are going to change things on this earth. Um, and that's why they want to cause a stalemate for your victory, but they can't. They are being defeated because whatever weapons Azazel made to conquer you are being ripped apart, are being combated, 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 compatible with the leader. Compatible with the Holy Spirit, with Christ energy. 
and you're deeply intellectual and that's how you're getting the victory about your decisions that you're making because you know these people are power hungry and they're not using intellect these people have a tunnel vision they only want one thing and they're so pissed with you that they can't focus on anything else to do strategically they just want to take you out so it's pretty much like playing chess and they're going straight for your damn queen but they can't Ooh. Somebody's trying to go straight for you and they can't. They're queen. Okay, so um, this person or this entity feels like you are the... If this is Zeus feeling like you his old lady, didn't Zeus have... Who was that? Zeus's wife he was scared of. Like she almost had his ass and he caught her and he was a little, you know, afraid of her. It was the only one he was fucking afraid of. He respected Hecate. He respected Hecate. I ain't gonna say he was afraid of her. He respected Hecate, but Zeus is afraid of whatever wife. I cannot think of her name. But you may embody that energy. He's afraid of that that feminine, that powerful feminine energy because then he can't just rule and go sleep around and do whatever it is that he wanted. This is the one maybe that was torturing bitches. Oh, my bad. Torturing uh, feminines that were being used by him. Mm. I'm hearing it's not her. It's not his wife. This is who he really wanted to be his wife, the chain woman. Didn't they have somebody else come save Andromeda? Perseus. They had Perseus come save Andromeda, but Andromeda was, I mean, but Perseus is the child of Zeus. So Zeus had to spawn someone who can go get who he really wants. It's like he, 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 he desired someone else, but he was scared of his wife finding out because she would torture or get rid of the feminine without him knowing. So it's kind of like this, he wants your energy he wants you to be uh with the pharaohs because we talked about Umun Ra and Umun Ra ended up being Semaja and uh I mean Samaja and uh Satan as well. Um but yeah, different stories, different names, but same being, okay. Uh oh no, don't take my thoughts away from me. I want them back. Let me see. Um it was another person he wanted to sleep with. Okay, boom. Back when Umun Ra and them, um when Tatu Tetu Kamen, when Tetu Kamen was the pharaoh, he had a wife, and they had like this whole little group of women who were uh priestesses, but they were considered um the wives of the pharaoh. So it was like kind of like the wife of God because they can see and tell and foretell and all that stuff. And I think that's what this person saw that or this entity sees you as the embodiment of that energy in the past. He, Zeus, Omun Ra, whoever, uh Satan changed his form to come down to you in a past life and get rid of your husband or dressed up as your husband to breed with you and he don't want to stop and let that go because you have powers and he wants his seed to embody your powers so maybe that's why he's only out here watching with these drones and the navy and all that shit the aerial people in the sky um because he wants to Make sure that you don't get in a divine relationship. He wants to keep you in a karmic one because he needs to continue to fill your belly, okay? And have these uh, extraterrestrial entity babies or try to have demigods. And this person is upset because the help is coming. Help is on the way. The archangels are here. Uh, the mothership is pulling up and they about to get their ass kicked. As it's always foretold, I'm hearing as it always was, is and forever shall be a world without end. Uh, so it's their apocalypse and they don't want to deal with it. That's why they're trying to uh, stop this archangel energy and literally raise these uh, this this beast. Raise the beast. Okay, so as long as Satan is locked up, he can cast illusions to afflict the earth. But if they can rise him up, like I've been talking about in Gibraltar, if they can rise him up, then they feel like it'll be a shit he's going to be risen he's going to be risen and he's gonna get his ass whooped by <laughs> he gonna be he's going to they're going whoever this is these people in these cults they're going they're trying to raise an antichrist um they've been doing such and they feel like they have to build another temple because the one in rome ha is defamed y'all they talking about the fucking vatican they're trying to build maybe something else onto the Vatican or they have something under the Vatican. It doesn't matter. They can't get to Satan because of St. Michael's Tunnel. Uh, I, I also posted something on my community page about Wales and Leviathan and how they talked about Leviathan was a fallen angel, but he was guarding the underworld. I think this is the one that was guarding Satan. 
and they're trying to raise him and they will um and he's going to like all the illusions that they have of everything that make y'all feel like everything cool and that shit's gonna cease and you're gonna like witness an actual beast i don't know if this is something like um you're actually gonna see a seven-headed dragon i don't think it's that i think that you're gonna see these people of power these seven bloodlines are gonna resurface and they're gonna get their ass whooped yeah and there's gonna i'm here hot damn it's a new day all right so it's gonna be a new day yes a philanthropist a leader with strong social skills okay so christ the christ-like energy is going to be uh spread about they knew that this was a fight from a long time ago that's why they're gonna let him out when they came down and they snuck down here and they started breeding with feminines their punishment was to be locked away for a certain amount of years until um until uh armageddon yeah and even though he he's going to be released he's going to be overloaded and exhausted under immense pressure because of the diligence of these archangels and uh people aspiration and people who aspire to grow and develop and help people grow um which is going to put everyone on guard for the trickery of these devils and have them being very quick-witted and outspoken all right and there's a couple quick-witted and outspoken people that are embodying christ energy because it the secrets that need to come out about this shit all right airing it out destroys the plan if we were looking at the yin and yang symbol and you had nothing but darkness of course add that light in there and everything gonna get better if you uh expose things you're you're bringing more light that's what i meant they thought yeah this christ-like energy these archangels are now coming down and defeating these people they're trying to run away because they don't want to let go of earth they don't want to let go of their businesses they don't want to let go of trafficking they don't want to let go of the resources of this earth but they have no choice they're going to involuntary submit because that's that's god's will everybody always want to ask well if you know god this and god that why is stuff like this still happening because there is a balance and it's not based off of your emotions the balance of the earth depends on evil and good to go back and forward in order to keep that balance. You can't have one more than the other and one's not going to be able to move longer than the other. Like I said before, those 200 angels fell down on Mount Hermon. The, the earth was peaceful. The earth was plentiful. And they started stealing, killing, and doing whatever they wanted to. All right. Spiritual healing and walking away. Give me something. Yeah. Get the freak out. Yes. These seven spirits are coming down. Seven archangels are going to come down. They're going to be very. Ch okay. So we're going to have seven people or these seven people that they wanted to, um, you know, kidnap or keep seven. Now, this is about the, the year of Jubilee and time travel. These angels are going to, they made it. They finally made it. It was something about a loop in time travel that they put up a block or something. And uh, the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Spirits couldn't make it through. And that was something that they did to try to put a cloak or veil over the entire earth to hide the truth. But now the truth is being spoken. These angels are getting their energy. Oh, because now you know how to communicate properly with the divine. And now the angels are able to pick up on like signals like boop, 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 boop. we got a lot of people over here with a problem we need going over there and handle that yeah it's kind of like the galactic federation you can call it out to the galactic federation and they're here and these you know people that were using this energy using the resources here are upset now because the earth is going to be reborn a new uh divine union is going to have a new start everything that was in the dark is coming to light which is karmic for these devils because they will have to suffer an ending to all the facets they gotta let go of everything that they was doing all right they were tempting people with um they were tempting people causing misfortunes defeat endings jealousy hatred treachery assault backstabbing retaliation and now it's going to be a bright horizon um the earth is going to regain its resources and they're going to be locked after this fight after this fight, give me something. Put some of this five of wands. They're going to have to fight. 
and they're going to get into it with each other because their fantasies or the things that they caused, the temptations that they did, damn, they're going to fight each other because they're going to be mad because they couldn't keep, they're going to start blaming each other and playing the blame game. I guess they're going to have to wrestle around with each other and fight. They're going to get whooped because of these temptations. They're going to get judged maybe for however many more years they got to be locked under the ground. They feel like they were so close to getting to what they wanted, but it's not going to happen. Um, The earth is going to replenish itself. And these materialistic beings are going to be blocked. Because, uh, wait a minute. Give me some on this king, queen of wands. Yeah, they're going to be blocked because they can't keep taking cootie mama from people. Yeah, because they can't keep misusing the feminine energy by deceiving them with love relationships, sneaking your ass down here dressed up like somebody else's man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, like the earth is going to be able to replenish, but it's something about Mary. Something about Mary. There's something about a feminine energy that this person has a soft heart for. Okay, so they feel like they're still going to try, even though they can't be misogynist, they're still going to try to push a feminine, an overly feminine agenda. Okay, so this is basically when, <laughs> this is basically talking about, you know, when Zeus, uh, when Athena was born, um, she's basically just the misogynistic, um, like a living embodiment of Zeus's misogynistic brain farts, like, no cap this woman was born well she ain't even a woman but this this being was born of this of his thought i'm hearing of his forethought like she sprouted from his forehead in a lot of stories so she was born a misogynistic asshole with a vagina and i think that that is basically just saying that is zeus's feminine energy all right, we all have a masculine and feminine energy that resides within us to keep the balance and i think that was him getting over emotional and he birthed her and they're still going to try to use this feminist agenda to try to uh, stop the embodiment of masculine energy. What? <laughs> What's going to happen with that? Oh, America. America is going to really see a change. Yeek. Yeah, America's really going to see the change, but that's where it needs to see the change at because that's where most of this feminine shit got started. That's why um they made athena the fucking statue of liberty yeah so he feels like he's still gonna try to find a way to embody these energies to stop these earth angels maybe that's why it's a lot of your ex-friends or people trying to come out and say that they secretly like women and they have this longing for you because this is another way that zeus can find a way to get to you so he feel like this time i ain't gonna turn into no man because you know the man coming i gotta be a feminine now i did a reading a long time ago not a long time ago maybe like a couple weeks ago about an ex no maybe a month ago holy spirit say about your ex being androgynous and he can switch back and forth i'm telling you zeus used to use you back in the day you were a high priestess of some sort from back in the day and now he's gonna have to change he feels like he needs to change his skin in order to trick you to get success all right, so yeah, with all these feminines mad because they can't get down there and get a taste of your cootie mama, don't you worry about it. Keep your guard up. This is just another attack of the enemy that's not going to work, okay? It's not going to work. I'm hearing bad news. Yeah, they're being approached by your ops. Uh, prejudiced feminines. So you might have some prejudiced feminines. You might also have one that's in your family. Uh, she may be a lesbian. They're going to try to offer her money to come and be cool with you man i kid you not your hitman is a woman queen of cups this woman is somebody from your fucking past okay home infestation your home may need cleansing because they've been doing heavy spell work in some random buildings by your house to try to get you to want vagina i'm about to go y'all because this is crazy <laughs> No, I'm not about to go. Holy Spirit said, not yet. Yes, a grandoise narcissist, an attention whore, someone who tried to exploit you for fame. All right? 
they were trying to do some sort of spell work to get some sort of rats or some shit to come in your house and they thought you had no spiritual protection but you do you're a great healer you're the oracle and this is just some succubus energy they want to come suck the life out of you all right the trilateral commission may have hired this person the rockefellers um and all these people in north america japan and europe okay so basically the archangels who have control over north america uh zeus well they said azazel but i think it's america i think it's for zeus because athena was the freaking what you call it um and zeus is satan so whoever is over uh oh in japan wait a minute whoever is the 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 the, the, the demon for wrath is europe that's why they always fighting so that's azazel i'm not saying he's the one for wrath or maybe he is but he helps it out with these weapons so azazel's over europe satan is over north america and then they have some bird who was a bird someone over japan maybe that i don't know someone else over japan but these people are trying to work against you and incubus energy is the one that's over japan they've been trying to do some dume candles on you with a voodoo priestess and hex your love life because your father hates your guts all right the president is involved in this they're paying these voodoo priestesses to help in this alien breeding program uh the, Do the dogon tribe so we have one of these archangels that were specifically working with the dogon tribe with uh magic and mysteries is what i'm hearing yeah dark entity magic what the freak they put a tracker under your skin. Uh, maybe these people are doctors and nurses involved in Scientology. They work for this past life reincarnated fucking king that tried to take over you and make you a succubus energy. All right, we got some stuff going on in the Himalayas. What, Mount? I don't know. It's L-H-O-T-S-E in the Himalayas. They want to try to clone you there. Um, your family's under attack by a Muslim practitioner. And some Kappa turtle-like humanoids from Japan. The fuck? They all want your money. They want you. Or they all want money from... Yeah, they all want money. So they feel like they got to take your ass out. Or take a couple of you guys out. If I'm talking to more than one person. Take a couple of you guys out. Um, In order to keep control. The Trilateral, tri trilateral Commission wants to keep control over the earth. So yeah it's a big fuck no bro <laughs> all right y'all this is it this is all i'm a little hungry i said i might do one more i don't know i don't even know how many i did so far this is the fourth one um we'll see all right y'all if you got the notification bell on you'll know if i post something else so i'll see y'all in the next one